Hi, my name is Manuel. In this video, I'll break down the process of animating my 2021 YouTube intro. The beginning part, the zoom in the middle, and finally, the logo review part. So stick around till the end. The first scene is mainly done in Cinema 4D. I used simple objects and a slightly rotating camera. I know I could have used MoGraph effectors, but I wanted to be very exact with each object movement. That's why I ended up animating them. For the lighting and HDRI environment, I used the HDRI Studio Rig from Grayscale Gorilla, which is amazing and gives you great results pretty fast. I rendered it out as a TIFF sequence and imported it into After Effects, and color corrected it just a tiny bit using hue saturation. Then enabled Time Remap to make it shorter and faster, especially towards the end. Finally, I added a background solid with a four color gradient. All right, that's the beginning. Now, the second scene. I wanted the objects which are drawn towards the center in the beginning to be pushed apart again, but this time a simple 2D shapes. One second. Okay, here we are. I animated the scale, position and rotation, then activated motion blur for all shapes and added a glow to all orange elements. Plus, I added an adjustment layer to which I linked all these basic shapes and animated the scale to get this fly-through effect. So no 3D layers, no camera, it's just a scale animation. There's a new dark background solid with a four color gradient again. On top of the background, I added some speed lines, which are simple animated paths. In the taper property, I changed the start length to give them some fake 3D perspective. I added these lines and a mouse just to be a bit more playful. Also simply animated the scale and rotation. Then I added these simple rectangular shapes, which just scale up. I changed the rotation by minus 30 degrees each time and postponed the solids by one frame to get this twirl effect. There are these star shapes, right at the beginning to give it a more explosive feeling. With a glow effect and motion blur. I animated the radius and the stroke width. Below all that, in the background, there are four growing triangular shapes. To give the scene more depth and speed. Let's actually open one of them. All right. Let me quickly turn off and hide some stuff here. Okay, it's a simple solid, and then a white layer on top of it with an animated mask, which I use as Luma mat for the solid. On top, there's a black solid with two masks, which are linked to the mask in the layer below to make sure they have the exact same shape. The second one is set to subtract and has a mask feather and is slightly smaller to basically create a soft inner shadow. I duplicated the solid. Then I've changed the blend mode of the bottom one to Dancing Dissolve to get that rough look. Above that is the same shape plus I added the Saber plugin by Video Copilot, which creates these amazing light effects. I created four slightly different animated triangles and added them to the main comp. Finally, I added two glitch frames. <laughs> I used my own glitch transition setup for that. That all leads to the logo reveal. A new background solid is revealed by the last triangle. Therefore, I used the set matte effect and the shape of the last triangle to reveal it. Then there are shapes appearing on the left and right. Also inside the last triangle, using a set matte effect. Left, and right. I duplicated the shapes and added a drop shadow for some little extra detail. Shortly after the big shapes, the logo animates in. 
that's also simple mask animations which reveal the logo shape. Here it is. Plus, I linked them to an adjustment layer which scales the logo altogether up slightly. Then, the text layer. Oops, <laughs> closing stuff here. <laughs> A simple animator for the opacity. The left background consists of shape layers, which I animated. I used the set matte effect on every layer and the left background as matte shape. Same on the right side. This moving timeline consists of simple shapes. Just like on the left, I used the set matte effect and this time the right background is matching. One last thing. To mix the audio together, I used Adobe Audition, by the way, and sound bits and effects from Artlist. <laughs> I guess the hardest part was to come up with the concept. All in all, it took me around 10 days from start to finish, I think. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like, so see you there in a second. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!